Hello. We are still under lockdown in many ways. There's some things opening up, but can you believe that it's been almost five months that we've been under lockdown? This will be the 20th Sunday coming up on August 2nd that we will have had to produce our worship service through online and We've been gathering together as the people of God every week, uh, doing online worship and Zoom Bible studies. But I wanted to say a few things today about what's going on in our country. We are not only under a pandemic, but there is an increasing polarization going on as there's uh, peaceful protests going on. But at the same time, there's violent uh, and rioting and looting that's going on. And hostile confrontations between the police and the rioters, uh, destruction of property. Uh, these things are indicating to me that there is a spiritual battle going on. Uh, the battle is not just against flesh and blood. There's forces that would like to divide us as a people, divide us as a church. And many people are divided within the church. Even families are divided because it's a very hotly contested political year. So we need to uh, equip ourselves for a spiritual battle. I'd like to read something from the letter to the Ephesians uh, in the New Testament, uh, chapter 6, that says that we are in a spiritual battle. It's not just between people and people, flesh and blood, but it is a spiritual dimension to this. Finally, be strengthened by the Lord in his powerful strength. Put on God's armor so that you can make a stand against the tricks of the devil. We aren't fighting against human enemies, but against rulers, authorities, forces of cosmic darkness, and spiritual powers of evil in the heavens. Therefore, pick up the full armor of God so that you can stand your ground on the evil day, and after you have done everything possible to still stand. So stand with the belt of truth, around your waist, justice as your breastplate. Put on shoes on your feet so that you'll be ready to spread the good news of peace. And above all, carry the shield of faith that you can extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is God's word. Offer prayers and petitions in the Spirit all the time. Stay alert by hanging in there and praying for all believers. There are forces that would like to divide us. And Jesus said, a house divided or a kingdom divided cannot stand. I'd like to just focus on that last uh, word. Paul talked about the, the armor of God, the, the breastplate, the helmet, the shield. He was using the, the soldiery of his day. Uh, the armor that they use. It was both defensive and offensive, the shield of faith, to extinguish the fiery darts of the evil one, the helmet of salvation. But when he comes to the end and says, let's stand, stand in every way, he says, offer prayers and petitions in the Spirit at all times. Stay alert by hanging in there and praying for all believers. I believe that even though we have been shut down under a pandemic from face-to-face in-person worship. We have not been paralyzed as a people of God. We can still pray. In fact, there's plenty of opportunity for us to pray. And what does prayer do? Prayer is something that um, is a source of revitalization for the church. We don't have to be meeting in public all the time in order to be revitalized. Prayer keeps us grounded and humble. Prayer helps us to examine our own hearts, to be sure that we're not giving in to the hate and to the fear. Fear is what paralyzes. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and of self-control. Prayer is the spiritual work that delivers us from self-sufficiency. And prayer helps us to move out of a world of being only self-serving, that we can be serving others. Prayer helps us to become an obedient people. Prayer can help us to be unified as a church. Even though we're scattered physically, we can be unified spiritually.
For one thing, prayer puts us in the presence of God and allows God to reveal God's will to us. What does God want you to do? What does God want me to do? We live in troubling times. We live in times where there's a lot of things that come over the news that uh, disturb our mind and our heart. Don't give up. Hang in there. Stand firm. Put on that whole armor of God. Read the last few verses of chapter 6 of the book of Ephesians to learn more about that armor of God. Never give up. Never surrender. God is with us and God will see us through. Thanks be to God.